everyone. I am Dr. Deepika. I am a consultant neurophysician at uh, Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today, I would like to speak about uh, Parkinson's disease. Every year, April 11th is celebrated as uh, World Parkinson's Disease, and the entire April month is treated as a Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month. So, what is Parkinson's disease? It's basically a degenerative neurological disorder which affects certain areas of brain and causes some abnormality in the chemical synthesis in the brain causing patients to have some abnormalities. The symptoms usually range from uh, tremor of limbs, uh, changes in a voice, speech where the speech becomes low volume, there might be some hesitancy in the speech, patient's gait might change in terms of slowing, fast quickening of steps, stooping forward or sometimes even falls. Patients tend to have a type of stiffness in the body which we call it technically as rigidity. And sometimes while walking, they tend to freeze suddenly when they encounter an obstacle. So these are the symptoms of Parkinson's which are usually uh, ignored uh, in the early stages and the patient comes to the neurologist only when the disease is advanced. The most earliest uh, symptom which people usually ignore is the change in handwriting. That is actually most subtle sign of early Parkinson's disease. We have seen patients who have come only with change in handwriting and after that the other symptoms set in around 3 or 4 years later. So when do we ask for treatment is the question. So the question is you go for treatment whenever a symptom is causing disability like interfering with your daily activities in terms of professional or personal lives. So what are the causes of this disease? It's a polygenic inheritance. It's very rarely familial and some medications which we normally use for migraine or uh, in treating psychiatric patients also tend to cause Parkinson's features. In those cases, stopping the medication, watching for the symptoms to reverse will be the best treatment. But in other cases where we do not have a cause or where it is familial, we call it idiopathic Parkinson's, that is Parkinson's without an underlying cause. That is the Parkinson's which we usually treat and that's the most common form which we encounter. So there are medications for the disease, but then there is no permanent cure for it. So as long as the disability is there, we can give you medication to control and help you perform better. Thanks to the latest advances, uh, latest surgery has come into the picture called deep brain stimulation. This is a procedure where they uh, implant electrodes into your brain and stimulate certain areas in brain which will help the patient improve, like the medicine's requirement can come down. So since it's a progressive disorder which can have a long course of even up to 20 to 30 years and the disability worsens day to day, DPS surgery is a good uh, chance of hope for these patients. So it's better to recognize a Parkinson's disease patient and put them on treatment early to prevent disability.